Thank him, Internet, for making this possible here. Got me a big old orange Neo right here. Friendly little Gus. This is for you, Chia Pet, for always making me laugh in them comments. Man, I appreciate it. All right, we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to do a fish room tour, but we're going to do it in the dark. Because, well, it's Halloween, and, well, that's what this special's for. Let's do a little night fishing, if you will. So let's look at these air fish with the flashlight. I hope there ain't no scary ones. Anyways, let's check them out. Whoa! Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's go check out some fish. Now what makes this special is fish don't always look the same at night. And you get a flashlight on them, it can actually be pretty neat. Plus their behaviors are different. And yes, fish do sleep. So hopefully we don't spook many. Plus this will give you guys a little mini tour of what's going on. Look at all these platinum rice fish. Holy moly, there's a ton of them. Plus the tanks always look different. Look how cool that Taiwan lily just looks with that spotlight. I think that would be a neat tank just to have a spotlight and then the dark sides. Love those platinum rice fish. Did you know we're gonna see what the rope fish are doing at night? He's under there with the rainbow fish hanging out. Did the rainbow fish and the rope fish sleep together? Interesting. I think that's the third wheel too. I think there's a pair in here somewhere. There's two more. They must get the master bed because I don't see them. The other one had to sit out. Oh, they don't like the light. Rope fish are definitely sensitive to light. I saw the pair peek their head out through here. They're like big nope. And this guy, he don't trust me. I've caught him so many times at night. Well, look at the blue on the barbs. They're really grouped up. What's that, guys? These are Dawkinsia assimilus mascara barb. You can see why they're called mascara barbs from that. Makeup looking coloration on them. Look at that blue. Now you don't usually see that blue like that during the day. The reds and stuff you do, but this flashlight is, like you see the blue a little bit, but not popping as much as we're seeing them pop right now. That's beautiful. Very cool. Ooh, we even got these spooky green water fish. Whoa, easy guys, those are platinum hatchet fish. That's spooky green water. Look how many baby rainbow fish are in here. Night, you can really see them. I tried to show you guys on live, but it's just one corner. They're all over the tank. Actually, they seem to be huddled, all huddled into a corner. Most of them. There's a few stragglers here and there. That's weird. I think they are all attracted to the light from my intro, so they all moved over to this corner, or at least the majority of them. Yeah, same deal here in this green water. They all moved to the corner towards the light. Nothing on this other half. Ooh, let's take a gander in the big pond. They want nothing to do with the light. Rainbows, they... Some of these rainbows are super skittish because I usually catch them with the light. Oh, what's up, buddy? Did I catch you off guard? Dwarf Neon. Look at him. He's like, no, no, no. Shellies are sound asleep. I don't see any shellies. I think they're all sleeping. Rainbow fish cuddle party over there. This is actually a really good time to look through these plants for half beak babies. The mom was pregnant. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a little rainbow fish. It's like, oh no, there's a half beak baby right next to that little rainbow fish. See him? It's like I was talking about. Mama just popped him out. Let's look for the parents. He's a little bitty. But in comparison to that rainbow fish, like this fish was born a few days ago. Couldn't have been in here very long. So they come out pretty big. It's probably not the only one. Upper tour. One of my favorite rainbow fish. I'd like to get a big school of those going. 
Oh, there's, uh, I think that's mama. Yeah, that's the mama. She's looking a lot skinnier now. You see the red and black on her fin though? The male's got all the color, but she's still got some color. Oh yeah, there's the male. There's daddy. Looks like we got him for catapus similis. Or no, those are platinum rice fish with them. Man, look at the color. Look at his face, his nose. Cool. Oh yes. This is that Lamonti Achille fish. If you guys remember from the mascara barbs in the hill trout tank in the 125, the fish Arcacy. This is the blue Achille. I used to run that tank. It's the oldest Achille I have. Well over five years old. Probably like seven years old. You see there's quite a few half beaks in here. What is this? This is a dwarf neon. If you look on this Dora TI here, a lot of these rainbows, that biofilm. A lot of these rainbows, you can see the stripe on their head in the dark like this. Which you normally see when they're breeding. These sea punks are all striped up. Completely still. All the babies are put away. I don't see any babies out as normal. It's in a tub near the pond. That old man eye crib though. Look at that. That thing is awesome. Look at that crib. Colors on it. It's a bigger crib too. I didn't think I was gonna be able to catch these guys, but here is a flagfish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at him just sitting in there. Just chilling in the guppy grass. Completely still, look. Barely breathing. Wow. And in here, got some dwarf neons in here, but I've been pulling mascara bar babies out of here, and this is a great way to look for babies, because they'll be sleeping at night and sitting more chill. Yeah. But I'm not seeing any, and I'm pretty sure I got them all. If not, they may be getting eaten. Even though the dwarf neons, there's some shrimp too, but even though the dwarf neons throw a lot of eggs and hatch a lot of babies, so... They may not predate as much. One of my favorite platies, and see how they sleep on the bottom here? A lot of guppies, inlers, live bears, they like to just rest like this at night. That's why a lot of the babies will get predated at night when the adults are at the bottom and they need a midnight snack. It's good to have coverage on the top and bottom of your aquarium. Oh, and a whole nother puddle of platinum rice fish. These things are just too cool. I like to see them in big schools. They don't just shine. They really seem to like the light. For some reason, fry babies, a lot of fish are just attracted to it. Look at that. Look at those little babies just pop out in that little tank. You see how still everybody is at night. See, a lot of the Daphne and microorganisms really come out at night, probably because they're not getting predated so much. They're retreating now, though, once the light's hitting them. Which, normally, they would be attracted to the light, but not in this scenario. Of course, you gotta have the snail pile from the feeding. Beautiful blue dreams. You know those are legit when you can throw a flashlight on them and they look like that. Oh, wow, look how many are on top of the Rishia. Just going to town. During the day, they don't come out like this on top of the Rishi as much, but we'll look at them all up there on top. Oh, these are the stay kindlers. Usually really hard to film. Oh, don't run. I thought I was actually gonna get to, man, I can't get it to focus. That's the hardest part. Hardest part about filming this is you see like the glass, dusty. Water's not the best. They're just washed out. Does not do the steaks any justice. Then I put the light over here, it's like, this looks oh, musty, super musty. Oh, it looks kind of cool. What's going on on the bottom of this tank? Very active at night, these shrimp tanks. Super active, baby gold dust. Here's some classy incest rainbows. Don't look as good at night. More baby rainbows everywhere. Blue star. This isn't really the light or the camera so much. These guys really are pretty washed out at night. They usually pop a lot more when they're lively in color. That color would just be brilliant. But some fish just doll out at night when they sleep. They turn their colors off for the day. I know these guys are out and about. Night owls. A lot of biofilm. Yeah, that just comes right back. <sighs> Whoop.
Yeah, I gotta do some maintenance. Clean these guys' tanks up. They hit anyways. More Platinums. There's one super chubby golden white clown. Usually hunting the panda gars. Usually they're out at night, but they seem to be tucked in pretty good. Oh, there's a female. Look how big she is. She's hiding. They want no part of it. Now look at all the bloody babies sitting still. This is a good time to like catch those. See how they're just sitting there? Might be so easy to catch. Open that algae. Oh yeah, they love this algae. Look at that. More. Oh wow, it just keeps going. More, 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 more. She looks a lot different in the dark. Once again, washed out colors like the endlers and guppies. Actually see my CPDs down there. They all seem to be sleeping at the top. Shrimp in there with them. I can get them warm enough. That's like perfect breeding situation for those. Oh wow. My cardinals. Look at these cardinals that are asleep. So this is a cardinal tetra. Look, the red's all gone. The blue's all there. The red's all gone. Look at that. Look at that. That's not camera trick either. I'm not messing with any of the colors. That is literally how they're looking. Because they're completely asleep. That is wild. We spooked them. But you can definitely tell they are asleep. They're quick sleepers. Because the lights actually haven't been off for that long. I was hoping to catch some. Wow, look at the green tint in that water. White. Green. White. Green. That's just the tint of the water. Man, that one's going green too. And these are actually black rice fish. They're looking very black right now. But they are darker. Even though it's green, you see, I mean, there's not a whole lot of algae. It doesn't even really look like that bad of a tank from the front. That one, on the other hand, that one's just getting blasted with algae. If you look above, light, ambient light. Look at the difference. Go like, bam. It's all the same setup. Slightly green. Or maybe rainbows. Oh, we got the orange rice fish. They color up good in here like this. You young half beaks in here. Lots more rice fish. Got a platinum rice fish factory going here. Oh, and I do got orange neocardina. Oh, she ran away. Ooh, there's one of those baby barbs. Super young one. See all the microorganisms in the aquarium with them though. See how they got a food source, natural food system, food web. You see it building up on the top of the water. That's infusoria, look at it. Or paramecium. Paramecium or infusoria, one of the two. Look at all that live food for them. Fire reds, looking fire as always. Oh, I forgot there's a little fish in here. Well, I picked up. You get him out. It's a good time for that. That snail just fart, did you see that? The shrimp are actually kind of wild because their eyes will glow. Oh yeah, see the one in the middle by the fish. Look at those glowing eyes. There, you can really see them. Wow. Shrimp keep their color at night, though. You can see. Wow. Those yellows. The shrimp are on fire. Man, those yellows. I've been working these yellows for a long time. Definitely tell. Come on, camera. Got more baby barbs. That's a different. That's a different group here. You see, they're a little bigger. Getting some size on. Oh, I was hoping they're nocturnal. It's these little catfish I got. Usually they're really skittish, but these guys are really cool. They're like grass cats. Mini short grass cats. That's as big as they get. Got a group of them in here. We're nocturnal fish. I don't want to spook them too much though. They'll eat the algae. Quick little tour of some of what was in here. Some of them are washed out or just hard to find. So I picked up somewhere I could for you guys. First time that Anubius has seen light for a long time. That hasn't been ambient. There's a walker eye. And blue glaris behind them. Oh my God, there's the sim Here's the protocatopus similis. See, this is why I love them. And you get the light on them. Oh my god. There's one cool fish. Bloody steady. That tail. Cold garden air eye. Basimi and Biviatonum. Lagos red. Or a guppy. These pictas really hold their colors. I gotta use the reflection here. The lion, look how much color that has for being at night and sleeping. It's 
impressive. From what we've seen, puppies and antlers usually don't keep their color at night. As well, and, and green, some probably do. You can see. Oh, yeah, baby. Caradinas are very active. They've been doing good in my well water so far. Tigra antler is looking good in the dark. Cool variation. El Tigra antler. Whoa! Easy, buddy. Easy, buddy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'll tell you what. Riding this thing around this fish room has not been easy. This thing's a wild one. Hey, I don't know if they're really used to this. Luckily, he's been trained. I hope you guys like this video. Hit that like button. That'd be much appreciated of you. And if you're not subscribed, bro, there's a lot more to come. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate y'all stopping by now. Y'all take it easy, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Just me and my shrimp. Just me and my shrimp. I love my life with me and my shrimp. Alright, now let's get out of here. I'll see y'all next time.